Hi everyone, here is the PDE SAS website where you will get your standards to create your lesson plans. If you notice, it's pdesas.org. You should be familiar with this site from your other education classes, but if not, here's just a quick um, tutorial. So we want to go to standards. And now we want to search standards. We can choose the grade. You can choose whatever grade you plan on teaching. I recommend um, if you're planning on teaching elementary, you choose um, some various grades throughout the course just so you familiarize yourself with the, um, with the different standards for the different grade levels and how they change. Same with middle school and same with high school. So we select that. All right, so you'll see they pop up for every subject area. So we want to narrow it down to math. And we save and close. All right, so now we have our math standards. Here's your standard CC213B1. And the standard is apply place value understanding and properties of operations to perform multi-digit arithmetic. So what you are going to do is on your lesson plan, you're going to include this standard number and write out the standard uh, description. And then if you are looking for ideas, you can go to materials and resources. And then they'll have a bunch of things over here with um, some different, this is a web-based resource, but then you'll also see some unit plans in which you could um, pull out some different lesson plans from there. But I don't want you to copy these lesson plans. I want you to change, look at them for ideas and then change them to make them your own and use the Chatham lesson plan format to type it, excuse me, to type in all of the information uh, for your lesson plan. But then you would just click on these if you find one you like. And then you even have like essential questions here and then related materials. Um, so there's a ton of resources in here. And sometimes there's also some assessments, which is good. Um, and then I'll, there's the related standards, anchors, which are like your big idea, your umbrella that covers your standards, um, different eligible content, like what you can include that makes your lesson plan meet those requirements, and different concepts. They popped up up here. So um, it's really, really helpful. Um, just kind of play around with this. And then so after that, you can go backwards if you want to change the standard or maybe look for something else, because you'll notice your lesson plans follow a theme each week. Um, I believe fractions is one of those themes. So this might be a standard you want to look at and some ideas. There's also if you click on the eligible content, they give you even more. Oops, there's a little glitch there. They give you even more options and more specific standards. I also recommend that you familiarize yourself with the eight mathematical practices. So um, you can just Google that. I did um, include a link to this resource, uh, to some resources for this in your Moodle class. Um, but just familiarize yourself with these. Um, so make sense of problems and perseverance solving them, reason extra abstractly and quantitatively, and they go on, there's eight of them, and they're great for just keeping your lesson plans um, really focused and making sure you're including important elements of mathematics instruction.